All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Mod Day Pack, which is sort of like an extra backpack of storage slots for your character inside of Schedule 1. So normally you just have, like, this little row of one set of, like, inventory space that's also your action bar, but the backpack gives you a second row of inventory space, which is just more convenient when you're running around because you end up having to carry a lot of stuff and inventory management is really important. And this is just convenient. So to get this set up, it's not really a lot you have to do, but you do need to have the melon loader uh, mod system installed on your computer. So go ahead and head over to melonloader.xyz. I will put these links in the video description for you. And you just click get started. Make sure that you've got the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 redistributable 64-bit uh, on your system or some version of this. You can check in your installed software list. If you don't, grab the 64-bit edition. Otherwise, just go ahead and download the latest version for Windows or Linux if you have Linux. I don't judge. Uh, and then grab the day pack download right here, go to files, and then go ahead and hit manual download, and then click download. It'll also remind you that you need melon loader. So we're just gonna put that in my modding folder where I've already got the more players mod that increases your lobby size to 16 people. If you would like to play with a bunch of people, but you can't, you can download that. It's very handy to have this one right here uh, I'll link to the setup guide for that, but really all you gotta do once you've got Melon Loader installed is just download this mod and put the DLL in the same mod folder. So once you've got this and you've got the Melon Loader wiki, or not the wiki, but the actual installer, we're gonna open up this folder. So the first thing we need to do, we've got the Melon Loader here and we've got the Day Pack mod right here, is I'm gonna double click the Melon Loader to install it because it's the basis for which all of this stuff runs. And that's gonna scan my computer for all the stuff that it could potentially be installed into. And then I'm just gonna click schedule one, which is right here. Uh, you don't want a nightly build because that's like the latest beta build. You want the stable version. Currently it's just 0.7.0. This, this little pull down should be on the latest version. That's stable, a uh, full release version, I guess you could call it. Uh, if it's not, you can double check. Just you know, make sure it's on the highest number and then go ahead and click install. It'll download a couple supporting files that it needs, which isn't much, and then it's done. It's actually a pretty quick process. From here, we just have to unpack this folder, this little zip folder that Daypack is in. I'm just gonna extract it to a file of the same name. And then inside of here is the Daypack mod, which is just a DLL file. Just go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna open up Steam, we're gonna right click schedule one, go to manage, and then we're gonna go to browse local files. And conveniently, the melon loader gave us a mods folder where I've already got the more players mod waiting. I'm gonna paste this in here as well. And that's all you gotta do. Now when you load into the game, you will have a second row of slots in your inventory that you can access anytime you're like in an inventory search. It's included in the cops searching you mini game, so be careful. They can still find out if you've got stuff in your inventory you shouldn't have. And it's also accessible by hitting um, shift at any time and messing around with it. But it doesn't seem to interfere with your ability to run. So for any more information on that, there's some instructions here on the description section for the mod itself, if you're curious, uh, down here. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. The links to this are in the video description below, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.